Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here. In this video, let's take a look at color correction in After Effects. I want to color correct these still images in After Effects and add some of my favorite effects to it. And I'm just going to focus on Lumetri and maybe one or two other effects that I like to add to my projects. And the cool thing about After Effects is that you can totally color correct still images. They don't have to be animated. It doesn't have to be a video. You can import a still image into After Effects and using After Effects to color correct still images can sometimes be beneficial to your workflow. You might need to make thumbnails for YouTube and I totally use After Effects to make my thumbnails. It fits perfect into your YouTube workflow. If you guys are interested in taking a look at my thumbnail template, I have one available for download on my website. Check the description for links to that. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and let me know in the comments what you think. All right, first thing let's do, let's search for Lumetri. I'm going to apply that to my layer and let's take a look at some of the menus. Many of these settings will be familiar to you. For example, if you use Camera Raw in Photoshop, you'll recognize uh, many of the settings for Camera Raw. You can change the color temperature. You can make the temperature warmer or cooler. Making it warmer gives it a little more red. Making it cooler gives it a little more blue. And then you've got the tint so you can get the perfect white balance. And we can certainly increase the exposure or decrease it. And we can always give it a little bit of contrast, maybe a little more contrast to get those blacks or maybe a little less to soften it up. And also uh, it's worth mentioning that you can choose some input LUTs, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's go down to creative, which also has these cool look presets. You can totally find a preset that matches your scene. And there's a lot of really cool ones here. I really like the sharpen effect. Sometimes the scene does need some sharpening and sometimes sharpening can destroy the scene. So be really careful with this one, but it's a pretty fast sharpen. Not all sharpens are fast. Maybe a little bit of color vibrance. Now, as I'm doing this, I must admit those of you guys that have watched me use Lumetri Color know that I'm always very tempted to try everything. So because there's so many options in Lumetri, you find yourself playing with all of the color wheels and all of the settings, just searching for the perfect color. Who knows? Give it a try for yourself. Here I'm adding a little bit of an S curve to it. Kind of takes down the shadows a bit, but it lifts up those highs so you can see those highs a little better. It's kind of interesting. We can take down the saturation a bit, give it more of an unsaturated look. Let's take a look at the color wheels. And maybe we want to put some blues in the shadow or maybe some greens. One of my favorite ways to do the color wheels is to bring up the blacks just a little bit and then come down and add a little green into the shadows. I love to do that on the color wheel. I like the way it looks. It gives it kind of a cinematic look in a way. And then maybe a little bit of reds in the midtones, but you decide for yourself and see what fits your scene the best. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about Lumetri for now. Uh, I also used Magic Bullet Looks, and I used Video Copilot's Optical Flares. By the way, this example was a procedural modeling technique that I did in Cinema 4D. You can see the behind-the-scenes video of this procedural project on my YouTube channel. Here's a time-lapse of the color correction. I hope you enjoy. Cheers.
Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, please give it a like, and let me know in the comments what you think. Good luck, and have fun.